Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 19 Ultimate Team Road to Glory, episode number 314. And in today's episode, we are going to be completing a few SBCs, playing a little bit of FIFA, and unlocking a pretty big SBC player towards the end of the episode. So you know what the latest squad is looking like then. We have a 95 rated Paul Pogba in the team. Uh, and the attack in front four is Eusebio, Benyatta, Havertz and Ronaldinho. So what I needed to do I think was get a couple more wins. Uh, like I told you I was going to do so that I could unlock a 100k pack. Uh, and that would obviously then hopefully give me some pretty good players in that pack. To then go out and help me towards unlocking Hazard. So that was like the plan. That was the aim of the game. Um, so I go like 1-0 up here with Havertz. As Havertz does Havertz things. We all know how much I love him at this stage. Uh, but then Vieira knocks it through to what must be... Is that a middle Eusebio? He's got different colour boots to the one that I use. Yeah, he's got black boots. Whereas I think the prime one has got white boots. Or white and black boots. Um, so it, it looks a little bit different when you're using him in game. And I always notice that when I play the... the the baby Eusebio as well. I think he's also got black boots. I don't know if that's the case for multiple icons. Are the, are the primes the one which have the the white boots then? Because I guess Ronaldinho and Vieira both have white boots, right? I'm not sure how that works, actually. If you figured that out, let me know down below. I know it's mid-August and no one really cares, but I'd be kind of interested. So I end up getting a very, very late winner here. Literally counter-attack from my opponent's corner. Uh, and, and got the win very late on in that match with Lozano. And, and that's one of the two wins that I needed to get me up to the 12 to give me a 100k pack. Uh, then I go into this game right here. This guy's got the same three icons as me and also a very nice squad around them. Uh, but Ronaldinho whips in near post with the Croquetta and then hits it near post with the green time low driven. And that's going to put me 1-0 up. Benyeda then knocks it into Eusebio who keeps hold of that ball nicely. Plays it into uh, Havertz who again does Havertz things and uh, we find ourselves... 2-0 up in this game and I don't know why I, I found myself 2-0 up because it wasn't necessarily the easiest of matches so to be 3-0 up I was like I don't know quite what's going on here because I was at, I was struggling I think a little bit with my opponent's uh, possession and stuff he was he wasn't a bad player he does instantly get a goal back kick off after the Ben Yedder goal that we just scored um so you know restores it to a two goal lead to me rather than a rather than a three um but I, I literally run up the other end and score another banger there uh, this time with Paul Pogba who uh, I have been enjoying I like him a lot and I, I think I think he is kind of wasted in that defensive midfield role because, yes, he's a great like box-to-box -box midfielder. But when you're going forward, he may not be the quickest or the most agile, but there's something about them long legs and the five-star skills and just like the... I don't know, he's kind of got this luck factor where he just ends up winning the ball every time. And it's, it's, pretty, good, it's pretty good stuff. So uh, if I... Uh, if I start him in the DM, then we're going to move him up to, to Cam at halftime. And I'm showing you exactly here what we're changing at halftime. Um, a few different changes. Obviously, now uh, Goretzka was, was on the bench because we brought Pogba in. So he then comes on as the CDM in the second half with Trent as, as the CDM as well. And we bring Pogba up uh, and take, like, Ronaldinho off or whoever it was. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, my opponent gets a... Gets a 4-3 uh, goal, so, I mean, it's getting close now. He is good, and he was starting to really pile on the pressure. And genuinely, I, I was camped in my own box for a long time. Uh, and then in the 74th minute, I just cut free. And again, counter-attack with Lozano. He is so dirty when it comes to the counter-attack. He's, he's he's unlike any other player on this game. Um, and we knock it in. Benyetta hits a low driven past the goalkeeper there to just ensure that we actually get the victory here. And uh, that was a tough game. I don't know. I just got kind of lucky with the amount of goals that I was able to score. But that was a tough one. My opponent held the ball really well. Uh, and uh, I mean, that was our 12th win. So that's what's going to literally unlock us a 100k pack. I know that you know, that finished a couple of days ago for you. Um, but, you know, just with the nature of where we're at in terms of the FIFA 19 cycle, I can get a few days ahead and I'm sure you guys don't mind. So, uh, we get we get a blue uh, UCL player. We end up getting ourselves... Um, is it Van der Beek again? Yeah, I've like I've already got him untradeable. I know he has a high card weight, so uh, we know that this is a hundred K pack. We're obviously expecting there to be tots and multiple special items in the pack, and 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 there isn't. And I was like, 
Oh. <laughs> uh, and, and the only special card in the whole 100k pack was Van der Beek, who I've already got duplicate untradeable. So that was, a, that was unfortunate. So I dealt with those duplicates as best as I can. There was a few, I think the first five or so on that, on the duplicates page were all duplicate untradeable. So I just kept them in the club, knowing that like I could do marquee matchups and use them. Uh, so get some sort of use out of them rather than just discarding them. Uh, and the rest of the stuff was tradable that I could uh, either list on the market or discard. So... We can we can move on from from the games uh, and move on into marquee matchups where I, I was hoping that we could go fairly big because I needed to go fairly big if Hazard was going to be a thing. Now you've seen you've seen the title and the thumbnail of today's episode that we are going to get Hazard later on, and I've told you that already. So um, it would it would be pretty safe to say that we're going to at least get some special items from this marquee matchups, right? So, Atletico Juventus. Now, that was the expensive one. Uh, the Juve players and the Atletico players are very expensive, and I did have to go out and buy one. I think I ended up paying 6k for one, but they are going for 8, 9, or even 10,000 coins, which is kind of crazy. Um, and then, for this final squad here, I actually submit the duplicate Van der Beek. It meant that the rest of the squad could be a little bit lower rated. And I did have a Chelsea and a Man United player. So, I'm guessing they're probably fairly expensive as well. But I luckily already had them in my club. So, marquee matchups complete for a minimal spend. Literally, I just bought that one Spaniard. I think one Fran for 6,000 coins. Uh, and we can then stick the, the Van der Beek back in the club as well. Uh, and we now got five packs to open. And they're not... They're not too bad ones, you know, to be honest. They're actually all right for marquee matchups this week. And I think that's probably why people like the Juventus players go up in price. Because when marquee matchups is fairly decent and, and good to do, uh, people want to get it done and that increases demand, right? Um, so we get a walkout right here from this pack. And uh, it's going to be an ultimate scream. So we know it's, it's not one to get really excited about. Although, I mean, I don't even think they have a higher card weight than the Tots and stuff. So we know that we've not really got much in that pack. But it was a small prime Electrum or something. So I wasn't ever expecting anything in that one anyway. Uh, or small rare Electrum, should I say. So we move on to the prime gold players pack now. We get ourselves a walkout again. This time it's going to be a foot birthday item and it's English centre-back from Man City. There's going to be an 88 rated centre-back Kyle Walker who, believe it or not, still had a, a relative amount of value considering that he, at this stage of the game, every every Tots card is worth basically nothing uh, unless they're a 95 rated or something. Uh, and when I checked, he was like 50 odd K, but I, I went to sell him... And I completed this marquee matchups, let's say an hour after marquee matchups came out, maybe a little bit longer than that. Uh, and he, so many people had packed him since then that he'd come down to about 39, 40,000 coins. But it's still fairly decent value for what he is. So we get a tot to the next one. We get German centre mid from Juve that's going to be Emre Chan. I, I see that German and I'm just like, yes, give me a tradable haver so I can sell my other one. Uh, but unfortunately, no. This time we get trolled with a little bit of an Emre Chan. But I'll take a 91 Emre Chan uh, and I know that I can sell him on for, for nearly 30,000 coins as well. So that's all right. And then it all comes down to the rare players pack, the 50k pack. Uh, and we get a walkout again. So this time blue again. So it's going to be uh, tops and it's going to be German. This time centre back from uh, Bayern. And, and we actually packed him in a uh, in yesterday's episode or in the rewards episode i'm pretty sure we got him as one of the many players in that crazy ultimate pack that we got so uh yeah like this time this one's tradable so that's all good it's not like we've got a duplicate untradable uh, and hopefully we can get some other specials in the pack and i was surprised to see that many so uh we get two ucl lives and uh, and also a uel live or, or uel kalasinach so um emre chan sold for 33 and a half kyle walker sula kimpembe farman and kalasinach all up on the market as well uh and then it was time to do the latest for his voting day which was another re-release um which is annoying. Griezmann's going to win it, clearly. Like, I guess you'll know, you actually will know, won't you, by the time this video is out. But, it, I mean, Griezmann was the only really high-rated one there. So, I'm sure people are going to opt for the Barcelona Griezmann. Um, so, uh, Prime Goal Players Pack from the Footies Voting Day. These haven't been good to me lately. And, once again, we don't get a walkout. Uh, and, 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 and we do get boards. But, uh, it's not going to be the greatest one in the world. It's Belgium right wing. So, Munchen Gladbach. Which means it's still going to Hazard. I mean, it, that's that's quite apt because we are going to go for another Hazard right off the back of this one. So, uh, uh, I need to, to go out and spend some money. Uh, but we have got enough now. With that 167k... We've nearly got enough to get Hazard done. Because I've nearly got two of the squads completed. I needed to buy Rusilon and Ziyech. 
to complete the two most expensive parts of Hazard. And then with the rest of it, 120k. I think that means that we can do the final one if we bought everything. So that's quite good. It means that we're going to come away with Hazard and some packs that we can maybe claw some of that money back. Um, yeah, I'm going to be submitting this week's reds that we got. Uh, I'm also going to be submitting, who else is it? Silicon, Rusilon, Skov, the record breaker, Bernardo Silva, Bamba, uh, and some some sort of fodder golds. Um, so that brings the rating up and we get the 89 rated squad done, which is the most expensive part. It gives us a 100k pack. Exactly what we want. Uh, and then Belgium comes around and I'm going to get rid of um, Ziyech. I'm going to get rid of Hames, Sula, Blind, Van der Beek, Renato Sanchez, uh, Paulson and Giroud. So a lot of that stuff is what we got from our rewards, right? The untradeables. So uh, that's Belgium done. Now, uh, that's, that's great as well. It means we get a, a 55k pack for that one. And then we needed to just go out and spend probably the rest of our coins here uh, on getting that third and final squad done. I've basically used all of the untradeable stuff that was in my club now. Uh, and, and, and we'll go ahead and, and spend the rest. And, and then hopefully get something from the packs in order to have enough coins to maybe do other SBCs that are coming out or whatever uh, over the next couple of episodes. So... You can see how much we paid for these players right here. I think 36,000 was the most expensive for the uh, the Argentine goalkeeper. And Santi was about 30k as well. Uh, but that's going to be with 11,000 coins left. Eden Hazard footies card done. 97 rated Real Madrid Hazard. That is the highest rated card that we've got this year. I'm pretty sure of it anyway. Um... So smash a thumbs up on today's episode for that. 97 rated Hazard. Uh, I'm sure we can get over a thousand likes for for the Belgian from Real Madrid. I mean, his card looks insane. It does look very good. My my main worry is that I actually don't have a spot for him in the team. It's going to have to mean that someone ends up losing out or we, we end up changing the squad because of it and stuff. But that's okay. Um, maybe at this stage of the game, what we can do is actually adapt our squads and make some changes just so that we can try other players out like Hazard uh, or he can be one hell of a super sub on the bench, right? So 97 rated, 4 star, 4 star with 98 pace, 99 dribbling, 95 shooting, 96 passing. Nearly maxed out in all of those important areas. No aerial ability whatsoever, but with that agility and balance, he is going to be a very tricky player. He's going to be like a little Belgian version of Messi on the game, obviously, right? So now it comes time for the packs, and we get boards from the first one. Spanish CDM from Bayern Munich, which is going to be Javi Martinez. We actually got him untradeable in a uh, in one of our packs earlier from the 100k pack that we earned in this episode. Um, so, I mean, I know that he's worth nearly 7k, so that's all right, but not what you, ideally what you want. You want to see a walkout, which is what we get here. Uh, and it's going to be an, an inform walkout, French centre mid from Chelsea, which is, of course, going to be a 90 rated Angolo Kante, which I was surprised at because I, I didn't, I couldn't think who it was going to be when I saw the French centre mid. Uh, and then, obviously, Kante popping up is a is one of the best. It could, it could have been a version of Pogba, I guess. Um, but Kante's actually holding like nearly 90,000 coins. So that right there is really, really helpful. We can sell him on and actually have a lot of our coins back. Walk out again from the final pack. This time it's blue. This time it's tots. And it's going to be uh, a 94 rated item in Ilicic from uh, Atlanta. And I can't... I always struggle with that. Is that Slovenia or Slovakia? I, I, I struggle with the badge. It could be neither of them. And if so, I apologize. But uh, I get mixed up with that particular badge anyway. Um, it is a 94 rated tots. He doesn't sell for a huge amount. But there are two other tots in there. Again, they don't sell for much either. But you know we're going to get at least 35, 40k for Ilicic. Uh, probably 15 to 20k for the other two as well each. So that's pretty good. As you can see there, or in 14k for Kazri, but a little bit more for Campbell. We're up to 165k and there's still special items selling on the, on the transfer list. So that is, that's good. That means that we're probably going to be able to get another footies SBC done. Um, I mean, by the time you're watching this, you I guess it's going to be Milinkovic, Savic and uh, Griezmann coming out. And I don't, I don't know if I'd go for either of them, but Alaba is still out as I'm recording this. Also, flashback Alexandro is out. So it's a choice between those two. I'm thinking I might go ahead and quickly get a little Alaba action going in the squad. And that'll be in tomorrow's episode if we decide to do that. Uh, just because he seems very good for the price of what he is. Uh, and I know that I've got some Bundesliga players. So that could mean that we could actually use them. Goretzka and Havertz and stuff and link that all together. And maybe get Hazard in the squad as well. Uh, and of course, whatever EA bring out over the next couple of days as well is now within our budget. If 
it's if it's one of those sort of one to three hundred thousand coin players we can probably make that happen guys hit me with a thumbs up on today's video we've gone and got our highest rated player of the entire road to glory series uh, so that deserves a thumbs up i'm sure uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new don't forget to follow me on twitter and insta those links are down below most importantly have a lovely day everyone and i'll catch you tomorrow with another episode peace mm -hmm.